From our brain's point of view, living in space is a very stressful feeling. The signals from our body in space go haywire as we float in weightlessness. The inner ear reports that it is falling, but the eyes show that nothing is moving. And as fluid shifts to the head, the brain interprets this extra pressure as a sign that it's upside down. But in space, there is no up or down. Despite all these conflicting signals, the brain adapts. And within a few days, we float through our new home as if we were born here. This amazing ability of our brains to adapt to new experiences is what makes us survive and thrive. And today, over 50 years on, the International Space Station is as much a laboratory as it is a spaceship for all mankind. ISS, this is DR, Denmark. How would you hear me? I'm sitting in uh, Cupola on board the International Space Station ISS, flying about 400 kilometers above the surface of our beautiful planet. Hygiene can be a bit of a problem in space. We don't have a shower. We do what, what we call a trucker wash. Uh, so we, we just use wet towels to kind of clean ourselves. Uh, we have a special space toilet uh, where we separate uh, the liquid from the solids. The liquids we actually reuse, we clean it. Uh, and it becomes our drinking water the next day. So the coffee we drank yesterday is the same coffee we drink today and the same coffee we, we drink tomorrow. 